Welcome to Wood Turning. Today we will be making a French rolling pin. <coughs> that really was a bad accent, wasn't it? Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools. Best in class carbide wood turning tools. Some of you have been watching us for a while remember me making an olive wood utensil holder for my wife. She has this great collection of olive wood utensils for cooking. She's been asking me to make her a French rolling pin out of olive wood. It's an easy enough looking project, but it's quite difficult. The worst part being when you put something this long on the lay that wants to vibrate and you get really bad cuts and chatter. Well, Brent over at Robust sent me a new toy and that's going to make making this rolling pin possible. Now before I show you Robust's new toy, I do have to round the blank out. But before I do that, speaking of Robust, I do want to thank Robust and Easywood Tools because without their support, we would not be here and that wouldn't be any fun. And by the way, I am an authorized Robust dealer, so if you're looking for a lathe, give me a call. Now. Back to this long task of just roughing this out. Say hello to my new friend. <laughs> this is a center steady that Brent at Robust has designed and it is awesome. This thing is heavy. It's made of steel. Uh, cool thing is these arms you can adjust them in 10 degree increments all the way around. So if you have a laser and it hits that, you can move it and you want to change it for the shape of the piece of wood you have or something like that. It's incredible. Why do you need a center steady? Because the longer you get on a lathe, the more vibration is induced. It can be a big thing or a skinny thing. Doesn't matter. That vibration gets in there and you can't get a clean cut. This puts pressure on the wood and counteracts the pressure of your tool doing the cutting and it reduces or eliminates completely the vibration so you're able to do longer things without any issues. So setup on this is really easy. This is a universal clamp so you turn it this way and tighten it down. The first time you set this up you use a square to get everything lined up the way you need it. Uh, I've already done that because once you have this tightened down and you've squared it up you loosen these. They're two little bars and they scooch out. So they go to the edges here. So it's always going to then recenter itself back on your lathe every time. So there's no more adjusting. I love these arms. You just undo these handles and the arms move in and out. In this case, I'm taking this handle all the way off because I don't want it to be in my way while I'm turning. And you would think this is only for big round things. That's no, you can use it on things like this French rolling pin that we're doing. Trying not to drop something. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm just going to let that hang. See, now it's out of my way while I turn, so it's not a big deal. So we're going to bring our blank back up here. Get the right end in the right spot. I'm going to adjust this arm up just a little bit to get it out of the way here. Okay. And I'm going to take this arm over here. And I put these arms in the position when I did the last one, the uh, last rolling pin, and it seemed to work the best there. So I'm putting this back on center right here. Gonna bring it back up on center here. This is locked down. Screw that in. So now we're nice and tight. You can see I didn't quite round this out all the way. I only rounded it out in the center. I was getting a lot of vibration at that point. Didn't want to go any further, but this is where this comes in really handy. So we do this arm here, bring this up, put a slight amount of pressure in so it's touching. See the wheel turns. Bring this one down here, slight amount of pressure there, wheel turns. Now I'm going to step back a little bit. So you turn this on and you can see how the wheels are turning. I'm going to push in here with my tool. Now I'm pushing against the wheel so there's no flex and no vibration. Pretty doggone swift. So I'm going to finish rounding this out and then we're going to do a bunch of measurements and try to make that really cool taper. So I need to move this uh, because I've got to get to this side now, right? Well, it's not actually a hard thing to do. You can't slide this around it, right? So I'm just going to loosen this, get that loose. I'm just going to pick it up. Oops, got my little clamp still clamping. There we go. 
pick it up. I'm just gonna lift it over it <laughs> and set it down here. And I'm gonna put my tool rest where I need it. And then I'll put this back in place and I'm gonna finish this up. Then I'm gonna repeat it and put it back over here. You know what I mean. So I've reduced this down to an inch and a half or a little bit proud of it right now. That's the main diameter you want. And I've been using my zero centered ruler to make marks that are five and a quarter inches out on either side because the way this French rolling pin is made, it's got to be one and a half inches to about ten and a half inches wide. You want it to be symmetrical, you want it to look right. Then it tapers all the way down to here to three quarters of an inch. So I've made a mark there for the end of the uh, rolling pin right there. So let me turn this on and I'm going to take my calipers, which are set at three quarters of an inch, and we're going to part that down. And you can see I've been able to pick the speed way up because the center steady is giving me a lot of support. So I'm going back away from there because this part will be gone. So if I mess up, it's not bad. Look, <laughs> I nailed it. That's three quarters of an inch. So now the next step is to start gently tapering this down. Now one of the most critical things in this entire process is, other than having this, the handles equal length on either side, this beautiful taper here must be completely mirrored over here. So this one takes a little longer to turn to get the feel for it. You can use calipers to measure it out and stuff. And I think I'm getting pretty close. I'm just going to touch it one or two more times. It's always this dangerous thing is the last cut. Get a little bit of that out of the way. I think I'm there. Let me just one more pass. Oh, I think that's good. Now we're going to sand. That's some magnificent wood. <laughs> so it's all sanded to 240 grit. Now I'm just gonna take the ends down a little bit more rounded off, and then I'll go over to the bandsaw to nip that remaining piece of wood off. That way you have less sanding to do, less hand sanding to do. There we go. Now I'll go to the other side. pin turned out great. I really like it. It's symmetrical. It's really smooth. And what's most important is it's extremely flat or perfectly flat through here to help you roll out all that pastries and doughs and things. So we're going to take some mineral oil since this is being used in a cooking environment. You just want to go with a natural oil that you can replenish. And look at the immediate change in the colors. This is always fun working with olive wood because it is so beautiful. Let that soak in a little bit, put on a couple more coats. But anyway, that is how you make, whoa, slippery, <laughs> a French rolling pin. Until the next time on Wood Turning, keep turning. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools, best in class carbide wood turning tools.